this is Mary over here at Images on the Page and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year mid-year book freakout tag. And it's just kind of a way to update everybody on how I've been doing which is poorly and kind of what I plan for the second half of the year and I don't usually follow plans well so we'll see how this goes. So question one and two have the same answer to me, so I'll just say what they are and then tell you my answer. So question one is, question one is the best book you've read in 2018, and question two is the best sequel you read in 2018. If any of you have seen my other ones, A Close and Come in Orbit is my favorite book this year so far, and it is also a sequel, so it is my, the best sequel I've read so far. As I stated in one of my reviews, I actually gave this six stars just because of how intensely it made me feel. I felt the need to give it higher. It was just connected me on such a personal level. The writing's awesome. For people who might not have been a big a fan of the first book because there was too many characters or too much, too many countries or planets that they went to, this takes place mostly on Port Coriol. So it stays in one place for the most time, and it just really follows two characters, so it's a lot more condensed, and everything that was amazing in her first book is just highlighted and given a chance to flourish in this one. Question three is a new release you want to read but haven't yet, or a new release that you haven't read but want to. And my pick is Running With Lions by Julie... Julian Winters. Um, I just found out about this last month in June from Adriana over at Perpetual Pages and it sounds like everything I would ever want in a book. Um, they described it as sports anime with actual queer characters and I didn't need anything else before I bought it and I can't wait to read it. It's actually part of my July TBR. Question four is the most anticipated release of the second half of 2018. Now I'm actually really bad at following new releases. Like I watch a lot of people who do that and like I don't know where they look them up and stuff but like the their ability to know what's coming out when is just kind of mind-boggling. It's I need to get better about that. Um, I just watched CC over Problems of a Book Nerd, her most anticipated releases of July through December. And one of the ones that really struck me was it was called A Study of Honor. It's basically um, black queer women, Sherlock and Sherlock Holmes and John Watson. That's all I needed to know. Oh, and set in the future. I want to give that a shot. Now, question number five is the biggest disappointment of 2018, and so I didn't take this to mean the lowest rating, because there have been a couple books that gained really low ratings, and also a couple books that I've DNF'd, but my biggest disappointment was Tempest and Slaughters by Tamar Pierce. Now, I didn't think this was a bad book by any means. I did give it a three star. I just, it wasn't what I have come to expect from her books, and it felt very much like going back to her writing style in Alana. And doesn't feel quite as crafted and I don't know if it's just because it's um, a male main character which she hasn't really solely focused on except for a couple times in the circle series or kind of what happened but this was my biggest disappointment this year question number six is what is your biggest surprise book of 2018 and that would have to be openly straight by Bill Koningsberg I literally just picked this up on a whim because I had DNF'd The Bones of Others as an audiobook and I really just needed something to listen to in the car. I've heard really awesome things about this. So I just picked it up and I absolutely loved it. I immediately got the second book, Honestly Ben, on audio and as you can see I bought the hard copy because I listened to like two thirds of it and then I got home from work and I just had to know what happened so I actually borrowed it from my library on ebook, finished it, bought the hardcover. Or the physical copy. It's not actually hardcover, it's paperback. So this has got to be one of my the biggest surprises this year just because I wasn't really expecting anything going into it. Question number seven is your new favorite author, whether new release or new to you, and this is just a, I believe, a new to me. 
and that would have to be Becky Chambers in her Wayfarer series. I read both of these this year and I loved both of them. A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet got five stars for me. Closing on Common Orbit got six. And I'm, I haven't really been the biggest sci-fi fan and I was just so awesomely surprised. And this one does have um, female female rep in it towards the end of the book. There is a female female relationship that happens. And she just explores characters and like different cultures so well. New, definitely new favorite author. This is kind of becoming um, a Becky Chambers video. Oops. Number eight is the, your newest fictional crush. And that would have to be... I literally just forgot his name for a second. Takumi from Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. Just the way she describes him and his interactions with Alice, the main character, I just, he sounds like ador an adorable, adorable human being. Question number eight is your newest fictional character. And for me, that would have to be Ben Carter from Open by, um, from Openly Straight and Honestly Ben by Kil Bill Koningsberg. He's just, he is just so adorable. I want to just keep him in my pocket and protect him at all costs. He is just a lovely human being. Yep. Questions number 10 and 11 also have the same answer. And it is actually the same answer as questions one and two. So question 10 is a book that made you cry. And question 11 is a book that made you happy. A closing comment or bit. This just had so much emotions for me. I, there was just moments where I was literally in tears by how understood I felt. And that's what made it also so happy was just, I had never connected to a book on such a personal level before. I really connect with um, Lovelace or Lydra, um, Lovelace slash Sidra. Um, is the character I connected most with. I had never connected with a character so deeply, felt so understood in a book. And so that just really got my emotions going. Question 12 is a book to film adaptation or your favorite book to film. I have really only seen two book to film adaptations this year. One is Love, Simon and the other is Black Panther. I have not read either of the books. So I can't actually say how true to form they are, but I absolutely loved both movies. Love, Simon had me in tears. Um, Black Panther just had me so like giddy with happiness. Like, and I haven't actually watched a lot of movies. So those were like one of the few movies I've even watched this year. And I made a special point to watch them because of what they were saying. Number 13 is your favorite video or review you've uh, filmed or written this year. I don't really write reviews. I'm trying to get better about that, but I haven't. I'm just really busy. Um, so my favorite film or video I filmed has to actually be the ridiculously long Tempest and Slaughter discussion I did with my best friend Jenny at her house. It was just so much fun. Also, I kept having trouble editing it because I just kept getting sucked into the video over and over again and forgetting that I had to cut things out and made it smaller because it was like an originally 40 minute video and I think I got it down to like 21 minutes. It could be longer than that. I could be wrong. It could be like 25. But yeah, most ridiculously long movie film I've ever done. Number 14 is the most beautiful book you've bought this year. And the most beautiful book I've bought this year is Bygone Badass Broads. Just like, look at that cover. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the art, like on the inside, like, oh my goodness. I just, I can't wait to read this. It's so pretty. And last but not least is what books do I have to read by the end of the year? This is definitely one. I bought it. Um... And it's just um, 52 Forgotten Women Who Changed the World. I also need to finish the <sighs> Dragon Crown War saga. I read this like a while ago back in high school, but I 
skipped around, so I don't actually know what's going on. I need to reread this. I need to finish the Seven Brothers series by Kurt Benjamin. I reread the first book already. I am like not even that far. That's where I am in the second book, so not even that far into it. I really need to read The Fifth Season and Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin. I just don't have the brain capacity for this, these books right now. They are just so intricate from the beginning and I need a lot more concentration than I have right now. So I'm hoping that I get that so I can finish these by the end of the year. Well, that is the mid-year mid book freakout tag. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.